Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you how to add a Niagara special effects to your plane so that it creates a, uh, and if ever you're not using a plane, you want to use other effects for whatever your vehicle, you can do the same thing. And I'm going to show you how to add two cameras to uh, film a sequence, um, which you could trigger, but we'll worry about that later. So what we're going to do is we're going to go in our project. I've already added this M26. It's a free pack, so I added it. And in my project, just going to go here under my content browser i already i'm going to just make a little bit of room here i have uh, vigilante content and under projectiles west missile under effects okay so what you want to do is you want to drag that in here and what i'm going to do is attach it to this vehicle and one thing you want to double check is which direction is it pointing in it seems to be pointing in the right direction right now and we're not going to really customize we're just going to add this one because i know it works pretty good and what we want to do is put it on the exhaust of the and i'm going to double check to see i'm putting it in the right place so moving around in 3d space and i'll move this a little bit back and let's uh, double check that so i need to move that over here we're almost there just go down and looks pretty good i could also press play and double check and then adjust based on that so i can walk around oh well i still have that and that's perfect so i'm gonna just double check i feel like it's a little bit off but maybe move it just a little bit over this way you know a trick might be unlit and i can see a little bit better because there's a lot of effects okay i'm gonna go that's good enough for the, for the tutorial now the first thing i need to do is make this a child of the plane so that when my uh and in the previous video i showed you how to create a sequence now you're going to see the flame takes off okay so one of the things i want to do is click on this and actually add it down here and what i want to do is click on track and add a niagara component so that we can activate this and on track here i want to set up a uh, fx system toggle track so what I want to do is have it deactivated at first. So I need to click a keyframe. And when I click, there won't be anything here. So it will start off like that. And right about when it's about to take off right here, I'm going to click activate. And I have my auto keyframe on, so it's going to activate automatically. And then when it takes off, it flies off, which is great. So, you know, I can also have a quick look my player let's go and have a look so there it goes takes off and it flies away and it looks great so you see in the smoke follows it from behind so that's really good so what's the other thing i would like to do i want to create uh, a camera track so uh, i'm going to save this i'm going to use this camera so don't go up here use these cameras because they're only going to be visible in the scene i'm going to create actually two i'm going to do two camera cuts the first one i'm going to call and this is really important. Press F2 or right click and rename them. Call Cam1. Don't leave it with the default name. It's, it's very confusing because it doesn't see it named this one too, which doesn't make sense. Well, kind of does, but I prefer this and it's much clearer. Okay. So what you need to know is this is your master track. This is what's going to be outputted as a video. The other thing you need to know is this is often it's the time is shown as time code like this. Or I apologize. I think it's normally shown as frames, and I always get my students to change it a second. So because this makes sense, and you might only have five seconds here. So what you want to do is maybe type 11 down here and press enter. We have a little bit longer of a video, and this is really important. You see how let's say our second the video is nine seconds long. We want to make sure this is pulled all the way to the end. So right now this is only showing me cam one. So pretty boring, nothing exciting. So what I want to do is come down here to my cam one and turn this on and i should see pilot active cam so what i want to do is using my wasd keys and if it moves too fast just slow this down a little bit and i want to get a frame a nice shot and the other thing too that you may want to use is this rule of thirds so to you know we can make sure we have a nice and we're going to place ourselves like this and maybe normally i wouldn't have my guy there so i'm going to just not put him there and so I'll put the plane basically in the diagram right here. 
And I'm going to go down to where the transform track is and press a keyframe. Then I'm going to move ahead. And then you're going to see that the camera starts taking off. And what I'm going to do is follow it a little bit. And then as I move up, I'm going to move the camera up. And I have the auto keyframe thing on, which really is helpful. And about here, I'm going to create something else. I'm going to create, I'm going to have the second camera follow it. And let's see, this one here might be, you can move just like that at time. Let's see, it's, it's probably not such a good one here. Anyways, you can adjust these. I'm not going to, in the tutorial, I don't want, and there's a, okay, so that you see the plane take off. And what I want to do now is I want to add a camera to this. So I'm going to attach a camera that's going to follow the plane. What I want to do is create a second track with Cam 2. So make sure you go down here and select where Cam 2 is and select that. And make sure the pilot is active. But really what we're going to actually do is we're going to grab this camera and attach it to the plane. So that it can follow the plane, even though the plane is going really fast. And now it's attached to the plane. And what I'm going to do here is move it in that section where I can really see the plane. I don't know, let's say from the front. And it should follow through the plane on the level. So you got a nice angle. And what I want you to know is you can actually make more than one camp. You want to maybe go flip back and create a third camera. Now what you could do is lengthen this and don't forget to pull this all the way out. Okay, what I want to do now is with my plane, I want to actually add where I'd like it to come in. So I'm going to press here. This is the main camera. You see, I could fix that, but since it's the only, uh, and what I'm going to do is where the playhead is, I'm going to go over here and switch to camera two. So if I had more cameras, I could switch into, and I need to see, it should switch, see, and it broke the camera. Sometimes this happens. So what I'm going to do is go back to it and uh, just re-pilot it. Now I'll double check, is it still, I'm going to add it again. So I just redid it. I don't know why it sometimes comes out. But so this is what it looks like. Press the space bar. Look at your timing. Fix any issues. There are definitely a few, but I'm just showing you the procedure. And I'm really happy with that. So what I'm going to do is now export a film. So if you click on this, just double check and make sure you're using movie scene capture. It's a simpler one for, for now. That's all we want. And what I want to do is ABI. And this is kind of really hidden. So I would recommend that since you're going to upload this immediately to Google Drive, just put it either in your ComTech or maybe on your D drive, select folder and capture the movie. And uh, so let's say selected. And then we're going to check in a second, make sure everything was good. You should always check your video. Uh, after. So just found out that uh, dragging the camera and putting it on, on there doesn't actually work. So what I have to do is attach the object I wanted to follow, in this case, the plane to the camera. So I'll show you how I did that. So uh, I go to, so click on cam two, which is the one I want to follow the plane and attach and then plane. And then what I'll see is, okay, well, I obviously need to go wherever the camera starts. And let's see, let's go here. And now what we're gonna do is we have that original takeoff and then where the camera starts and everything is good. So. If I had another camera come in here, I would just cut this out. So this is now attached to that camera. It's kind of, the, I was trying to do it the other way and it keeps breaking. So now when I export it, it actually works. So let's do it again. And let's just ABI, make sure it's going to the G drive and save selected and let's double check. And here's the video, we'll have a quick look. And again, I, I could have fixed this, but I did. And there's the second camera coming in and it's following the plane. And you can upload that to Google Classroom. So if you have any questions, please let me know.